Our ship has left the port of Jeddah after unloading our previous cargo. Now that the holds are empty, the office gave us orders to head north to Suez Canal while awaiting instructions for the next voyage. Before we even started the northbound transit, the next voyage was finalized and we were given instructions to sail all the way to Brazil for the next loading operation. It would take our ship a little over two weeks to get there and roughly the same amount of time to get to our discharging port. Which means it would be ideal for us to make a short stop on the way to top up on some items that we're going to need. It's 11 p.m. and our ship has just dropped anchor here at Ceuta in Spain. We will be staying here for a few hours to take in some bunkers, lube oil, and a few spare parts. For now, we are waiting for the barge to come alongside our ship, but we're expecting to work all throughout the night until morning, so it's going to be a long night. Ciuta is a Spanish city on the north coast of Africa, bordered by Morocco. Geographically located along the Strait of Gibraltar, it is an ideal resupply point for ships trading between the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. So apparently the barge was almost coming alongside to our ship and then this happened. The bunker barge was already maneuvering on our port side when the heavy fog rolled in, restricting visibility to only a few meters. For safety reasons, the barge postponed coming alongside until visibility improves. So because of the fog, the barge can't come alongside to our ship. So we will be delayed and we'll have to wait until the fog dissipates before we can resume. So I guess I'll just take this opportunity to get a little sleep while we wait. That's what I thought, but apparently the supply boat that was going to deliver our lubricating oil, small as it is, had no problems coming alongside on our starboard. So before I could even lie down on the couch, I was called back to work. We were going to take in only around 8 tons of lube oil just to top up our inventory for the main engine and generator engine crankcase oils. The operation took less than an hour to complete, and since the hose was quite small compared to the bunker hose, connecting and disconnecting it didn't take very long. While waiting for the fog to dissipate, some of the guys try their luck on fishing. While the ship is at Anchorage, we sometimes try our luck at fishing. Let's see what they've caught so far. Luckily, we were anchored at a spot where there are a lot of mackerel around. That means we'll have fresh fish for breakfast.
Eventually, the fog cleared and the bunker barge was finally able to come alongside. I have already made a previous video about bunkering operations, so if you haven't seen it yet, I'll drop the link down in the description or you can check it out in my channel along with my other videos. Some viewers have asked a lot of questions about bunkering operations, and although I do try to answer as much of them as I can, my limited internet on board the ship makes me unable to answer all of them. I'll make sure to shoot a few episodes to answer your frequently asked questions. I think it would be easier to do that than to answer 20 people asking the same question in the comment section, right? Anyway, for this operation, we were taking in two grades. First is the very low sulfur fuel oil, or VLSFO, and the other one is the low sulfur marine gas oil, or LSMGO. We're just filling up the empty VLSFO tanks and topping up the LSMGO tank, just to make sure we have more than enough to safely complete the voyage all the way to the discharging port. The whole operation will take about 3 hours to complete. It's 5 a.m. right now and we're in the middle of bunkering operations. We're taking in two grades of fuel right now. One is the heavy and one is for the gas oil. For heavy, we're going to receive about 600 tons and for the gas oil, it's just 100 tons. According to the latest sounding report, we will probably finish pumping around one hour from now and then it will take another one hour for calculations and documentation and stuff before we finally head out about four or five miles from here to Algeciras where we will meet another barge that will deliver the spare parts. The bunkering operation went very well without any incidents or quantity disputes. We collected the samples for the laboratory, I signed the receipts, and the barge was let go and went on her way. So it's 7.30 in the morning right now. We've already finished with the bunkering operation. The boat has already cast off and we are headed now towards the rendezvous point at Algeciras, Spain to pick up the spare parts. I haven't actually slept since yesterday, so my head is actually floating right now. <laughs> but uh, the spare parts would be the last order of the day and after that, we'll finally be able to take some rest and go to sleep. On board a ship, there will always be times like these wherein the schedule will call for night activity. Whenever that happens, I usually let my team get the half day off before the night work, so at least they would have a little bit of rest or a little bit of relaxation time before they work the whole night through. And of course, when the job finishes during the daytime or the morning time, I let them go and take a rest, go to sleep. It disrupts your body clock, but that's just how it is on board a ship. The important thing is to have ample time for rest and not to overwork your people because if you do, then they will get fatigued and if they are fatigued, there are more chances that they will make mistakes and maybe it will cause an accident. That's why anyone who has ever worked on a ship knows that time management is very important, especially if you're going to allot some time for rest. The rendezvous point for the supply boat was only a few miles from our position, just off the coast of Gibraltar, so it didn't take us long to get there. So we're already here at the rendezvous point at Algeciras, Spain, and yeah, I think the supply boat is coming right now. Picking up deliveries is quite common in this area, but since this area is also heavy in ship traffic, we had to pick a spot clear of incoming ships since we had to be careful not to start our engine once the boat is alongside. Thank you. 
parcel we were picking up was a few spare parts for the main engine and a few cans of additives for our fuel. The boat also picked up the bunker samples we have just collected to be sent to the laboratory for analysis. As soon as all items were secured and the receipt was signed, the boat went on her way while we resumed our voyage and headed south to cross the Atlantic Ocean all the way to our next port in Brazil.